Hey, what's up guys? Bajiri here. Guess what? Got another gym video for you guys. It's been a very, very long time since our last gym video, but uh, we've been getting settled in, trying to find a, a new gym that Jenny and I both really, really liked and felt comfortable in, and it does look like we found one. And uh, today I got a little bit of, a little bit brave, and there weren't a whole lot of people in the gym today, so I thought I'd give you guys some gym footage. Today was my back day, and uh, normally my back day, I do deadlifts, but I absolutely destroyed my legs my most recent leg day, which was like two days ago. Did legs, chest, back, and uh, on my leg day I did, you know, not only some beast mode squats, but I did, actually did a lot of straight-legged deadlifts. Uh, even went up to 225 on my straight-legged deadlifts, so my hamstrings were feeling it. And trying to deadlift on sore hamstrings just sounds like trouble to me, so went ahead and just did my, my basic back workout, incorporating a lot of my pulling exercises that I normally do, but uh, not really bringing in the deadlifts today. So what I'm starting off with right here is I normally do a warm-up of a lot of different back machines. You know, lightweight, just try to get uh, a whole lot of different pulling motions involved. And then I'll start doing my real sets. So this is what I'm starting to get into my sets. And I started my real workout with this right here. This is a low row. And the objective for me when I do my low row is to try to pull, not with my hands so much, not try to pull my hands into my body as much as focus on pulling my elbows, uh, keeping my elbows tight into my body, and just driving them back, almost like you're, you know, trying to elbow somebody behind you. So really try to pull with your elbows, like we talked about in the previous workout videos. If you try to pull with your elbows more, you're going to get more, or at least I get more activation in my back rather than just in my arms. I mean, of course, you're going to get some activation in your arms when you're pulling a whole bunch of weight like this, but for me, just trying to almost like elbow somebody behind you. And I am allowing myself to come forward a little bit when I pull. I feel like that helps me stretch out my back a little bit more to get a good stretch and squeeze. So sometimes in the beginning, I'll try to hold that rigid form, but as I need a little bit more oomph to get the to get the weight where it needs to go, I'll start to sway back and forth a little bit more. And I really have no problem for, with that. If some people are gonna get you know upset about me not keeping absolutely strict form, I suggest you lift a little bit heavier weights, get a little bit of intensity in your workout sometimes, and see what it does for your gains. Of course, I'm not advocating a complete disregard for form and all, but, you know, some days you just got to gut it out, and that was one of the, these days for me. I was tired coming to the gym, really feeling my leg day, followed up by a beast mode chest day, all while still dieting. So I'm trying to get a little more strict with my diet here. Um, during the move and during our stay in LA, you know, lightened up on the diet, wanted to have good energy, didn't want to stress out too much about food. I mean, of course, wanted to have some of my mom's delicious cooking, so... Lighten up my diet a little bit. Really didn't suffer too much in terms of the weight department. I'm still holding strong at about 196, but I am gonna buckle down on my diet a little bit more. Although honestly, I'm I've been noticing. Uh, I mean, at least what I think are results. And I'm dieting at about 3,000 calories right now, so that's a pretty high amount for me. But if I don't, if I go any any lower than that, I end up being really really hungry at the end of the night. And so you know that's about 2,700. Take one more snack, about 300 calories. A little bit before bed, and I'm feeling good, so. But I'm also noticing results. I feel like I'm leaning out still, still feeling strong in the gym. You know, still having good energy for the things I need to do, so. That sounds like a good diet to me. Right here, um, this exercise is a, it's a lateral pull down. Uh, I'll do this exercise two different ways. Sometimes I'll lean forward and try to bring my elbows pretty far forward and really pull with my lats that way. And sometimes I will lean back a little bit like I do here and try to squeeze a little bit more with the, the upper part of my back. So it's like upper and lower for me. That's how, that's how I feel it at least. Um, but just keep in mind whenever you're doing any of these pulling exercises, you want the most intense flexion to be in your back. So it's almost like if you, you know, anytime you're doing any of these exercises, you can just learn what it feels like to squeeze your back together. So right now, if you're sitting in your computer chair, you know, don't, 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 don't feel like too much of a nerd now, but do this with me. Just like, you know, get your, get your hands out in a fist in front of you a little bit and just pull back like you're trying to crunch something between your shoulder blades. Just pull your elbows as far back as you can, just straight back and feel that squeeze in your back muscles. That's what you want those exercises to feel like. And even though you're pulling in different directions, all that's really doing is helping you really engage and put a good amount of resistance on different parts of your back. But the idea of really squeezing that muscle in your back no matter which way you're, you're pulling it, that's the idea. At least that's what I do in my workouts. And if you can find a way to lift heavy while getting that good squeeze, you, you'll find a sweet spot. For me, today it was about, you know, 190 right here. I was, I was just pulling 190 Sometimes I'll go up even as high as 220 sometimes I'll have really good days and go super heavy But you know, I encourage you to, to train by feel a little bit 
you know, find a weight that feels right for you that day because I think you're going to get the most out of that. You know, a, a good combination of, of a little bit clean reps, but also good solid weight and good intensity and good squeeze, that's going to help you a lot. That's how I've been getting a lot of my, my recent progress so far. Is I've always worked out by feel. I've always trained, you know, just going by uh, what feels right to me. And uh, it's, I've been seeing a lot of good results that way. But recently, especially in the past year or so, with my, you know, focusing on, on bodybuilding more than just, you know, going to work out just for fun, um, I've, really, I've really been focusing on that squeeze mechanic, a stretch and squeeze. And it's helped me put on a lot of muscle and maintain a lot of muscle even through dieting. So definitely starting to fatigue here just got to gut it out a little bit and move on to the next exercise so those are my uh, lat pull downs and i'll do those you know overhand and underhand they'll hit a little bit different muscles now this i'm only i'm only going to do a few sets of these this is just um an upright row with uh you know just a, a barbell row i suppose you should call it and i'm pulling these pretty low into my back you can put you can lean over a little bit more if you want to but uh, right now i'm just trying to get the lower part of my back so i'm basically like just pulling it right up my right up my legs Leaning over just a little bit, not not a huge lean in my back, but just bend over just a little bit and trying to pull this like right up my thighs like that, and that's going to help me get a nice low lower back pull. But also, you know, at the top of that, I am I am engaging my my traps a little bit. And now keep in mind, uh, things that involve a high row are also really good for your traps. Your traps, I mean, of course, a lot of people do shrugs for traps, but your traps are a pulling muscle. I mean, they they, they pull your they pull your shoulders together. And a lot of those high rowing movements do pull your shoulders together. And something like this even pulls your shoulders together a little bit. So when you do these high rows, that's also hitting your traps a little bit. I mean, like you, you can do that. Remember what we were doing just, just before where you pull your shoulders back? You know, do your three elbows, but, but try to pull your elbows up. You know, like pull them back, but up a little bit. And that's going to hit your traps. The, those muscles that are sort of in the, in, in the lower part of your neck. Those are your trap muscles. And those even get... Um, hit by a lot of these rowing exercises. So if you want to build some traps, you can do your shrugs, but also make sure that you're activating, you're consciously activating your traps when you're doing these rowing exercises. So, you know, I, I did I did some rows with the cable, and then I, I did some you know pull downs with the cable. I was also doing pull ups throughout the day, just body weight pull ups. Um, but then you know once you start to fatigue, sometimes I hit these hammer strength machines because there's really nothing to these. They've already got the the sort of lifting path all set for you. There's really not a lot of variation. So all you really do is try to recruit any of those final muscle fibers that have any energy left in them and just pull with all you've got. And these are also really fun because it's at this point in the workout where, you know, you might think you got nothing left, but um, usually you can surprise yourself with what you're able to, what you're able to do. Um, a lot of times you do have more strength in your body sometimes than you think you've got in your mind. So I encourage you to have your, uh, you know, one way or the other, either, either motivate yourself mentally to, to do things that you that you feel like you can't do or have your body just say dude you know what there's not a whole lot of thought involved in this right now i'm literally going to pull this until it doesn't move in it again and that's how you know you're doing something right and that's one of my one of my favorite parts about working out in general is it gives me a chance to go um just to absolute physical failure just get every ounce of intensity that you've got in your workout and uh, go ham, and that's like, like I said. That, that's what I, that's one of the things I enjoy about about the gym so much is it gives me a chance to just exert raw intensity in a positive way. So I know there's a lot of you guys who've, who've got that warrior spirit inside of you. You've got you know a lot of whether whether it whether it's expressed in your mind as rage or sadness. Um, I would just call that intensity. So I know there are a lot of intense individuals out there. And if you if you find yourself sometimes overwhelmed with that intensity that you don't you don't necessarily know how to how to make sense of it or you don't necessarily know how to express it, I urge you, I implore you, to start working out because it's it's a way to channel that intensity, channel that rage or sadness or frustration or happiness. You can have intense happiness. Uh, channel that, put that to good use. It'll help you, uh, you know, become physically stronger and. You know, one of the th one of the cool things I can that I think about is you know you have a physical manifestation of the intensity that's inside of you when you're able to you know build muscle that way. So, kind of a weird thought, but <laughs> I'll, I'll I'll leave you with that. Not sure how well I express that, but uh, that's one of the things I like to think about. You know, you can you can wear you can wear that intensity as a badge of honor instead of letting it beat you down. You channel it into something positive and let it build you up. So, just something to think about. Hope you guys have had a good day because I sure did. Really glad I got to get another gym video out for you guys, and I promise I'll make these absolutely as often as I possibly can. So thanks so much for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time. Peace!